what if morally ill people come on the internet and share wrong information purposefully and put this information out there now everybody will be now taking this information as true and they will be genuinely misinformed because somebody disinformed them so with the newspaper now what if the person that writes the article purposefully writes the article in a biased way to create a way of thinking so that the people who talk about it will start to spread misinformation and therefore their agenda could be carried on by the people, not them. Because all they have to do is power ripple in the arm, in the, in the lake. So now, so now you have the context. You understand? I, I, you're all trained on Tobago and Atlanta here are using Michelle as my thermometer. Because as long as Michelle un un understand, I know that I'm not confusing you all. Because this topic here, it could get confusing depending on, depending on where you go. Because our own biases try to come into it and try to make us think a particular way, right? So, let me move forward now. So, I gave you a newspaper. That was, before, that was media before. Now, Tim Berners-Lee, the guy I told you about last... Yesterday, sorry. Created the internet. He said, The original idea of the web was that it should be a collaborative space where you can communicate through sharing information. So, his original idea of the internet was, Everybody, come, share information. Well, he have a nice heart. Cause remember, he's the one that do all this for no money and whatnot. So he was like, yeah, let me just create this collaborative place. Everybody will share. And everybody, of course, they'll come and share good information. And then everybody will be informed. And what if, what if morally ill people come on the internet and share wrong information purposefully and put this information out there? Now, everybody will be now taking this information as true and they will be genuinely misinformed because somebody disinformed them. How do you feel about that? All the, all the examples swirling in your head right now, right? You have all kind of examples and all kind of things swirling in your head, right? So, let's, um, let's think about it from the perspective of Facebook. Facebook creates these echo chambers. An echo chamber is basically where everybody in the same room saying the same thing and they keep bouncing back and they keep reinforcing what you believe, right? Over and over and over, right? So a church is an echo chamber. Yeah. When you go to church, it reinforces what you believe and you get, you're just finding like-minded people around you all the time and they keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over. What if the leader of the church disinforms the people yeah. and they are constantly bombarded with disinformation when they go out in the world, they're going to spread misinformation. But the people in the church or the sheep they are not the um they are not at fault because they have been led by disinformation same thing with politics what if the leaders of political parties purposefully twist twist facts and twist <laughs> twist the information in such a way that they will get people to believe it and then they now do the work of spreading their agenda which is the misinformation so new newspaper example i give you how long does it take for the fix to happen the next day, right? Mm -hmm. How long does it take for the information to spread? The, the same afternoon. Right. All, all the bars, all the bars, all the rum shops, all the corner talk or whatnot, yeah. right? So, um, cut down the spreading time now by mm, 22 hours. Because in one hour on social media, yeah. misinformation could spread wherever. And the further it spreads, the harder it is to out it out the fire. Because even though the newspaper fixed the article the next day, the misinformation has gone on for two weeks. Right. So that exponentially increases now with the internet and social media. Because when somebody purposefully puts out their propaganda or puts out their purposeful misinformation, they know that nobody out in that fire. And that is the problem that we have right now with, with social media and misinformation. So, how... <laughs> How do we take that, take that information? Because I just gave you information. Yeah. Right? I didn't purposefully give you any misinformation just now. Yeah. How do we take that information and now act appropriately with our spreading of information? 